Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to review and swatch two new 15 pan eyeshadow palettes that MAC is releasing. So these are pre-made palettes that MAC has created. They have a warm neutrals palette, which you see on the right there, and a cool neutrals palette, which you see on the left. And as the name suggests, each pan is filled with either warm toned neutral shades or cool toned neutral shades. These are available online and cost $100 each. To see more in-depth reviews and photos of each individual color, you can go to AllureBD.com where there will be reviews up for each of these palettes. You can also check out the blog sale to purchase items that I semi-regularly post new ones for, and I'll put the link to that blog sale in the description box. Here's the 15 pan Cool Neutrals palette. First we have Flounce. Sweet Allure, Sun Tweaked, Blackberry, After Dusk, Pick Me Up, Crushed Clove, Cozy Gray, Deception, Brun, Silver Fog, French Clay, Cumulus, Pearled Earth, and Black Tide. Another thing to note is that these pans are not, or these palettes I should say, are not refillable the way Max empty 15 pan palettes are. So these eyeshadow pans don't pop out the way that they would if you bought an empty palette and then put in the pans. So you could probably pry these out with techniques that you can find on many websites and many videos for depotting palettes but in terms of it being created the way that it's originally intended, it is not a refillable palette. First I'm swatching Flounce, which is a chalky white pink with a matte finish. Next is Sweet Allure, which is a soft light pink with a satin finish. Sun Tweaked, which is a soft frosty coral. It looks more like a peach, has a frost finish. And After Dusk, which is a mid-tone rosy pink with pearl. Blackberry, which is a muted burgundy plum brown. So here is the first row of five. You have very nice color and pigmentation to these shades. Pretty good formula for all five of them. Particularly the first two shades have very soft, buttery, smooth formula. First is Pick Me Up, which is a pale ivory in a matte finish. Cozy Gray, which is a cool gray with a matte finish. Crushed Clove, which is a dirty gold olive with a frost finish. Deception, which is a chocolate gold with a frost finish. And Brun, which is a muted blackish brown with a satin finish, and this is a permanent shade. Alright, so there you have the next five shades. Again, the ones with the matte formula actually have better finishes to them and better um, intensity. The two frosty formulas are a little more, I would say, crumbly in texture or flaky. But still all of them good pigmentation. Silver Fog is a white with silver pearl. This is a luster finish. Not a great finish to this color. French Clay, which is a white gray frost, has a frost finish. Cumulus, which is a dirty gray charcoal with a frost finish. This is a re-promote. Pearled Earth, which is a deep blue gray. Comes off kind of purple. It's a Voluxe Pearl finish. And Black Tide, which is a black with silver sparkle. Has a velvet finish and is a permanent color. So here are your last five shades. The first color is probably, even out of the whole palette, the most disappointing. It's uh, sort of weak on underlying color and the glittery specks are a little flaky, but for the rest of them, nice smooth finish and intense pigmentation. And next up, we will take a look at the colors in the Warm Neutrals palette. So first up is Hay, Warm Breeze, Ginger Snap, Dark Brew, Dance in the Dark, Brulee, Vanilla Extract, Honey Lust, Amber Lights, and Saddle, Lemon Tart, 
Butter Fudge, Creative Copper, Unwind, and Divine Decadence. So first up is Hay, which is supposed to be a metallic coral with a Velux Pearl finish. This is a re-promoted color, but it looks much more beige on the skin. Warm Breeze, which is a pastel coral with a satin finish. Ginger Snap, which is a deep rosy pink with a frost finish. Dark Brew, which is a deep chocolate with pink pearl and a velvet finish. And Dance in the Dark, which is a dark brown with a matte finish. This is a re-promoted color. Brulee is a soft creamy beige with a satin finish. It is a permanent shade. Vanilla Extract is a soft warm yellow beige with a frost finish. Honey Lust is a bronze dipped peach with a luster finish. This is a permanent shade. Amber Lights, which is a peachy brown with shimmer and a frost finish. This is also a permanent shade. And Saddle, which is a golden orange brown with a matte finish. This is also a permanent shade. Lemon Tart, which is a metallic gold with a Velux Pearl finish. This is a very yellow tint to it. Creative Copper, which is a frosted gold with a luster finish. This is a re-promoted shade. Butter Fudge, which is a dirty mocha with gold pearl and a satin finish. Divine Decadence, which is a soft bronze with a velvet finish. This is a re-promoted shade. Unwind, which is a dirty olive with a Velux Pearl finish. Alright, so there you have Max two new 15 pan palettes, the Warm Neutrals and Cool Neutrals palette. So the most frequent comments I suspect for these will be the price. You're getting 15 eyeshadows for $100 total. If you work out the math, it's much, much cheaper to buy this palette because each shadow, I forget what the exact math is, it's, it's in the um, website post, but it's around five to seven dollars for each shadow as opposed to paying fifteen dollars per shadow individually, or if you even only bought them in pan form, they're still ten dollars each. Now that's assuming that you don't already have any of these colors, which for many of you will not be the case because both of these 15 pan palettes each have a mixture of permanent shades and re-promoted shades. Still, most of you probably will only have maybe one to three of the shades already, leaving you with 12, let's say 10, between 10 and 12 shadows. So that's anywhere from still seven to $10 for each eyeshadow that you're paying, which means that it's probably a better deal than buying the shades individually. So it's just sort of a matter of your personal situation. If you have been collecting MAC shadows for a very long time and you already have five of these 15 shades or you know half of these 15 shades, then it's probably not a great deal for you. But I think for a lot of people who only have one to a few of the shades already, in terms of the money per shade, it is a good deal. Of course, you can find alternatives like Urban Decay's Naked Palettes or Stila and Lorac also have their own versions of neutral palettes. So you can certainly hunt around for a cheaper alternative, but if you're purely comparing it to MAC and within the MAC range, this is a better deal per eyeshadow. All right, for more details like this, please check out the individual review post for these palettes. I hope you enjoyed looking at these swatches. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.